Okay, so welcome to our video for um, creating the AIY Voice Kit version 2 um, from Google, which comes with a Pi Zero and a Voice Bonnet. And for this project, you're going to need all the items that you see here. You're going to need your Voice Kit version 2, a keyboard and mouse with a USB dongle, and then for tools, you're going to need your uh, screwdriver with a flathead uh, two millimeter um, tip on it. You're going to need your needle nose pliers from the toolkit, um, a power adapter. I'm going to use this um, Felker 30 watt universal. And then to connect to the monitor, the Pi Zero uses a different um, cable than the Pi 4 that we've been using. So we need HDMI to connect to the monitor and then um, mini HDMI to connect to the Pi Zero. And to get the mouse and keyboard hooked up, we're going to need uh, something unusual. You probably don't have this in your drawer um, at home. It's a USB hub, um, but it has a micro USB end here. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear some space and we'll assemble the AIY voice kit. So inside this box, we're going to unpack here. Um, and this little sleeve slips off of the cardboard inserts. And we're going to start by assembling the container that our AIY voice kit is going to go inside. So on the bottom, these ends are labeled A, B, C, and D. We're going to fold down flap A first, then B on top of that, and C, and then D. We're just going to push and pop it in there. Okay, and then we'll fold these flaps back so that when we're ready to slide the voice box in, we can do that. And then we can just set that off to the side. And then this insert, we're going to fold these side pieces forward. And then we're going to bring this around the bottom. And notice that they fit into these little groove slots here. And that's the support for the inside of the box. It'll hold the speaker, the Raspberry Pi Zero, and the voice bon voice bonnet. Now, it's easier to slide the speaker into the slot if you unhook it here first, and then just open it up a little bit. And we're going to slide the speaker in with the wire facing up, and then kind of tuck it down into there, and you want to give it a pull until it's anchored all the way down in that slot that is made for it. And then we can again fold these pieces back and into those slots on the bottom. And that will be the insert for the speaker. That will go inside the box once we put everything else inside. Okay, so we'll set that off to the side here for a second. Okay, next we're going to need the Raspberry Pi Zero. So we'll go ahead and open that. And it's in our static shield bag, so you want to ground yourself by touching something metal and before you start getting around in here. Okay, and then in this little plastic bag here in the corner, we're going to grab the standoffs from the inside. And two little plastic standoffs. 
and in your pi zero there are pre-drilled holes here that you can slide the standoffs in and they're going to go in the holes that are opposite the GPIO pins because the voice bonnet will sit on those GPIO pins and support that side. So we need the standoffs inserted to support the opposite side. Okay. Now we'll pull the voice bonnet out from its static bag. And the GPIO pins are going to connect on this side and then line up the holes for the standoffs on the other side and then just give it a gentle press until those are all connected. And there's our AIY voice bonnet. So next we're going to need the button harness and this is easier to get out if you lift the insert here a little bit and then you can kind of snake your way through. You want to avoid tugging um, any wires through the top so that you don't accidentally disconnect anything um, from their ends. Okay, and this button harness is going to slide right onto these six, uh, or sorry, eight pins that says button. And we're going to attach that so that the red is closest to the edge and the blue is closer to the top and just slide that on there and make sure it's all pressed tight against the edge. Okay. So now we need our screwdriver and we're going to use the two millimeter flathead attachment and if you look I can get this a little closer for you to see but on the top here we've got four screws and we're going to un unwind or loosen by going clockwise the first two screws here and that's what we're going to use to connect the speaker which has a red and a black wire. And we're going to put the red wire and you can pull these apart a little bit to make it easier to work with if you would like. And we're going to put the red wire into this first slot and then while you're holding that in place you're going to need the screwdriver so that you can tighten, tighten that clamp around the wire. So you just keep turning it until you get some resistance on the screw head. Yeah, and then you'll know when it's tight if you give it a gentle tug and it doesn't come loose. Okay, and then this black wire we're going to put in the second clamp and Holding that in place, we'll go ahead and tighten the screw down around that black wire. And again, give it a, 
a gentle tug there and make sure that it's nice and tight. Okay, now we're ready to reassemble this insert that we pulled apart. So we'll slide those cardboard feet in there. And we're going to turn the Raspberry Pi Zero with the voice bonnet facing this direction and then gently slide it in to the two slots, therefore the insert. And make sure it's pushed all the way flush. And then we can grab that box that we assembled at the beginning. And we're going to just, oops, lost it on the bottom there. We're going to put that in here, slide it all the way down. Now when you look at this side, I, this is a, a cardboard mechanism, so it's not going to line up perfectly straight. In order to access these ports, we're going to have to kind of reach our fingers down and press some things around and down and until you can see that you're able to access all of those ports there on the side. Okay, so now we're going to assemble the button and pull that button out. Pull that pull out our button. So here's the button and that's going to slide right through this hole in the top of the box. And then in the plastic bag that had the standoffs, there is a ring here that we can use to tighten around the button top and the cardboard. And that'll hold the button in place on the top. Okay, then we need to connect um, these six wires to the button. So the button harness, uh, they do need to go in a certain order. So we're going to start at the bottom on the left with the red wire. And we'll just go ahead and slide that on there. If you're having a hard time getting it uh, pushed all the way down, you can ever so gently use your needle nose pliers to grab a hold of it and give it a push. Okay, next to the red wire on the bottom row is going to be the orange wire. And go ahead and give that a push. Slide that. Rubber piece over it. There we go. Okay, then in the next row, we're going to have the gray on the left and then the black is going to go on the right. Okay, and then on the top left is the blue. And on the top right is the green. So now we're going to need to connect all of our extra pieces here. So you want to find your micro SD card. And if you have not yet, um, you want to flash the latest AIY voice image um, for Raspberry Pi onto this micro SD card. Um, if you're following along in the instructions on the um, voice kit page on Google, uh, the, the link to um, the GitHub repository for the latest version of the operating system can be found there. And then I flashed it on with Belina Etcher. So we're going to slide that 
micro SD card into the slot on the Raspberry Pi Zero through the side. And when you go to push that in tight, it's going to um, misalign all of your data ports again. So you'll want to reach in there and give it a, a push back into the position so that you can access all of your data ports. And we're going to take the micro USB hub and slide that into the spot labeled data. Oops, got it upside down. Okay, and then our monitor cable has one side that is a mini HDMI, and we're going to slide that into the HDMI slot. And these really need to be held in tight, so you're going to have to put your fingers on the other side of the Pi Zero and kind of blend some resistance as you're pressing that in, because if they're not connected tight, then the monitor won't get a signal when you plug it in on the other side. Okay, so we've got, for the micro USB hub, a slot now that we can plug in the dongle for the wireless keyboard and mouse. And you really only need these peripherals um, if you don't have an Android device. If you have a cell phone that has an Android operating system or a, um, a pad that has a Android operating system, then you can download the AIY voice app um, and use that to get the IP address to set up your SSH. Um, but I don't have an Android device. I only have an iPhone. So um, my only option now is to connect to a monitor so that I can find my IP address uh, to set up the SSH. So last but not least, we're going to need power. And um, I gave everybody in their project box this universal power supply. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up. So in here we have some different adapters and a key. And first thing we want is that key. It's on the bottom of this bag. Okay, so with this key, we need to look at the back here where the power settings are, and we're going to change this to be 5 volts. And so give it a turn and click so that it's at the 5 volt spot. And don't lose this key, so make sure you put it back in the bag. And then Next, we need to find the adapter end that is um, micro USB. If, um, if your power supply, uh, you don't have one or you're, you can't find um, an adapter for the end that is micro USB, the kit comes with a USB to micro USB connector. Do not try to connect this to a laptop, though, to power a uh, Pi Zero. There won't be enough uh, juice in there to do so. So you could attach this uh, USB end to a um, power, a wall power adapter. In fact, I think this one here has a slot for a USB. So I could plug this cord that came with it into that slot as well. But since I have a micro USB end, I'm going to go ahead and use that. And we're going to plug that into the box here where it says power, right beside the data connection. Okay. 
and then we'll be ready to um, plug it in and power up the monitor.